Skate for free. Do you inline skate more often than you skateboard? Yeah, I do. And when I'm back home, it's 50-50. I don't really skateboard that much because yeah, I'm more of a ramp skater. Right. And there's not as many ramps in America as we have back home. Is the, is the inline skating as, as, uh, as popular in Australia as it is in the States? No, we've got a lot of inline skaters in Australia, especially a lot that focus on ramps and bowls. Right. Um, in America, I think they're more concentrated on street skating. Street skating in New York City is the bomb. There's nothing like it. I mean, I don't care what anybody says. You can skate from one point to the other. We don't have to hop in a cab or hop in a car or you know, even hop on the train for that matter. If you get bored, you can go to the west side. If you get bored from there, you can go to the east side. You can go uptown, downtown. For any New York skater, street is where it's at. This all started out, you know, a couple of donuts at the banks, a little coffee, you know, early morning skate session. I think the Banks is, is pretty much a mecca for skating in New York City. The Banks is, is known worldwide. The Banks is famous everywhere. Anybody who skates skateboards or inline skates knows about the Banks. You, you fall in love with it. You know, you have the wall to jump over, two perfect handrails that are there, you know, that are you know, just saying, jump on me, learn to skate, you know, from here. You can grind. You can rail, you can air, you can do anything, you know what I mean? It's, it's the perfect skate spot. What we did was, um, on the trip, we went down to the Wall Street area. Skating there, it, there's a lot of stuff to hit. There's a lot of good, like, gaps, and there are a lot of good rails and stuff. Um, it's not good to skate in the daytime, especially during the week. People get pretty scared and you come running up in front of you. You know, we never hit them and stuff, so it's all good. Like, you know, you come by, you know, they don't know to move. You know, you're about to hit each other and you move at the last minute. People are always getting on your tail about, you know, skating here. You can't skate here. You can't do this. You can't do that. We just do what we got to do and we just keep going because we can't stop. If we stop, we get jacked. Will you get out or I'll call the police? We're just New York City kids. Don't know it's chill, though. It's kind of cool. I mean, you kind of skate, hit a spot, and break, and you leave, and then... You're okay. Man, I've seen kids, I've seen kids get like hit by cars. I mean, like bad. Uh, seen this kid totally rent, like going 30 miles an hour, smack into the back of a parked van. <laughs> Do you do some play-by-play -play for us? I can see I'm watching this being totally ignorant. So help me out, man. Educate me. Like, this kid right here is insane. Brian Patch. Did he rip some speed? Yeah. yeah. See how it's all consistent moves as well. Omar's just always solid and consistent on everything. Solomon a guy. He was voted Skater of the Year last year by Crasher Magazine. Right here. He's mostly known for his innovative street skating, switch dance skating. Hey, what's that? That's a uh, doubles line. This is Raw right here. This is Ricky Styles. One of the best bull skaters in the world. You see, he's just got crazy fire in his eye. One, two, three, four!
What do you think about, you know, street skating? I think that it's not cool to put back money into skateboarding by, you know, paying for insurance and stuff so the parks are closed and yeah. now the kids skate the street. Yeah. You know, they, they like street skating because it's other people's property. My brother's got $13,000 in skateboarding tickets warrants. It is a crime. Like I said before, thank God for the country. The scene in Nashville is real positive. All the kids that skate here are really good, and when people come through, I think that they're surprised, because lots of people think, you know, well, you're in Tennessee, you know, you guys don't even wear shoes there. The scene in Nashville usually looks down on skaters, just because we're a little bit different. Skating in places like Nashville, it can get you in trouble because of how close-minded people around here are. It's wherever you're skating, you know, you just look like a troublemaker to them. As, as far as skateboarding being a crime, it is as far as uh, being prohibited. Most part, the cops are just jerks anyway. After you've been advised and you continue to, to skate, then it uh, gives us probable cause to take appropriate action. They got a, you know, personal vendetta out against us, you know, before they even come out and bust us. Well, they do challenge us, and, uh, and when they do, if we catch them, we, we'll arrest them. You know, they got to do what they got to do, but, I mean, they could be a little bit cooler about it. I think if uh, we're going to start getting kicked out of the city in Nashville, that uh, might as well just take it upon ourselves to build ramps and... Uh, you know, built the way we want it. We decided to go ahead and put some ramps up, you know, ourselves. So just went out to the junkyard. Who should take the bike? Yeah, do that. Oh, you jump this here. We can make a lunch in it. Picked up some stuff to do some tricks over, and it turned out to be a pretty fun day. find a lot of things like just like a fridge ready to use as a box to do grinds on and stuff or uh, just you know, like trash cans do tricks over and stuff just you know you can find a bunch of stuff that people have thrown away and use check the flow watch me scroll see I'm that food that makes you lose control Cause it goes like this no it goes like this yeah it goes like this no it goes like this no it goes like this it goes like this and it goes a little something like this the city puts up basketball courts baseball fields swimming pools and that's all public, and you know they get to do that for free. So why can't I do what I do for free? I think if we can do this in like one afternoon, the city can take a little bit of time, maybe a month. They can have something. It's not really hard. Just a little bit of nails and a hammer. <laughs>